Hey guys, I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Today, we're going to do a secret project for your mom, okay? So if your mom's nearby, tell her to plug her ears, okay? So, if you know, you might not know, but this Sunday in two days is Mother's Day. And you all have some really special moms. So we're going to draw her a really special present for you to give her on Sunday. I'm showing you a picture of it. This is what it might look like when you're finished. But we're going to take it step by step, just like we did our castle drawing in our Easter Bunny drawing. And when you get finished, you're going to be so proud of it. So what you're going to need is one piece of white paper. If you have any hard white paper like cardstock or construction paper, that'd be good. But if you don't, just regular paper is fine too. And you're also going to need a black marker or a black crayon. We're going to do our drawing in black and then we're going to color it in, paint it in, however you want to fill it in. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, all right, the first thing we're going to do is on the very bottom, we're going to draw the flower pot. And how we're going to do that is we're going to draw one line just like that. It's not in the middle. It's more towards the bottom. But you got to leave a little space for us to draw the flower pot. Now we're going to draw another line the same size as the first line right under it. Sort of looks like a long equal sign. Now we're going to close the ends of that equal sign. It looks like a really skinny rectangle. All right, to finish our flower pot, flower pot we're gonna draw two slanted lines. These are lines that are not gonna be straight, but they're gonna curve in a little bit. And on this side, curve in a little bit. And that's your flower pot. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the stems of our three flowers. The first stem, I'm going to draw a line in the middle, and then I'm going to draw a line right beside it. That's our middle stem. Now we're going to draw two more flowers that are going to go out from the flower pots. They're not going to go straight up. They're going to be slanted out. Watch this. I'm going to draw one line out, and then a beside it line out. And we're gonna do one more on this side, line out, then a line beside it out. Okay, so we've got our stems, but we're missing the pretty part, we're missing the flowers. So the way we're gonna draw our flowers is sort of like how you draw a cloud. Okay, so we're gonna start with this middle one, and I'm gonna draw sort of like a U shape, and I'm gonna keep going around and around and around and around all the way until my flower closes. Sort of looks like a cloud, but we're not done with it yet. We're gonna do the same thing inside of this cloud a few times. So start with your U shape and keep going. Starting to look like a flower. All right, we're gonna do it one more time in the middle. Those U-shaped curvies. And then we're gonna put a dot. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on the side flowers. We're gonna start with that U-shaped curvy. Go all the way around just like you're drawing a cloud. Then we're gonna do another one inside. We got one more to do, one more little baby cloud. And then what do we put in the middle? A little dot. All right, now we're gonna come over here and draw our last big cloud. Then a medium cloud inside of it. 
and our small baby cloud, and then our dot in the middle. All right, so now's the fun part. You get to color it in. If you have watercolors at home, you can paint it. If you have crayon, you can color it in. If you have markers, you can color it in. Just remember, you're giving this to your mom, so you wanna do your very, very best job coloring it in. And then on the bottom, you can write, if you want to, two, that's a sight word. Remember T-O, two? And then you can draw a dot, dot, and you can write mom. Let's sound it out. Mm -hmm. Mom. And then we can write from. And then you'll put your name. I'll put my name. Meg. All right, and maybe if you have an extra picture frame or something, you could put it in it and you could give it to your mom and be sure to tell her Happy Mother's Day. Because on Mother's Day, we like to think about our moms and tell them how much we love them. You can tell your mom all the reasons why you love them and that will just make their day. I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. Bye.